Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you how you can install Xcode within a Windows computer for free. Now um, this is something really cool that I'm sure lots of you want to know if you want to get into uh, either Mac application programming or iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch application programming. Now uh, traditionally this is something that would have to be done within a Mac computer as the software that's used to program the applications called Xcode is only available for the Mac. But uh, in this video I'll show you how we can get around that and install it within Windows. And um, so let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is to uh, get a free program called VirtualBox. I've made a few um, made a few videos on this and it basically allows you to run uh, other operating systems within Windows. So if you haven't got this already you can head over to VirtualBox, uh, go over to their website and that link will be in the description. But uh, once you've got VirtualBox installed, you, uh, you'll want to open it up and install uh, Mac OS X Mountain Lion within it. Now uh, this might sound like quite a daunting thing to do, but I've, um, I've got a video on this. It's actually not that hard to do. It'll only take around uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes to uh, get everything together and then just leave it to get it installed. But uh, anyway, that isn't for this video. I showed you how to do that in another one. That'll be linked on screen and in the description. But uh, Anyway, I'm going to assume that you've already done that, and we can carry on getting Xcode. So, if we just open up OS X Mountain Lion, and the way that I did this was, um, is if you've just installed it, is if you'd click on OS X Mountain Lion and just press uh, Start at the top there. But uh, once you've done that, you can open it up. And now you want to open the Mac App Store, which is this icon on the dock just down here. So once this is opened, you can just type into the top Xcode. And I said that this would be ridiculously simple, and it is. Once you've installed uh, Mac OS X Mountain Lion in VirtualBox, it is uh, as simple as just pressing this button here, Install App. And now I just need to enter my account information. And uh, as I'm sure you've realised, if you don't have an Apple account, then it's you know really simple to just create Apple ID. All you need is a uh, an email address and a password. You sh uh, shouldn't have to link any bank details or anything like that, as it's a free program. But uh, like I said, if I'm just gonna you know just enter my information here, press sign in, and hopefully this will get downloading. Right, and as you can see, we've got a little progress bar down here, and it says it's downloaded just under two meg, well, two meg now out of 1.65 gigabytes. Now this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's done. But um, so that should be done in just a minute. Okay, so now Xcode has just recently finished downloading and installing, so now we can uh, carry on with the process by opening it up. So, all we have to do is press on the launchpad icon down here to get a list of all of our applications. And Xcode should now be on this list, and here it is here. So we can just press on that, and it should open no problem. Right, so we can just press Agree on the license agreement. Uh, we have to install this. I'm just going to enter my password. And right, so this shouldn't take too long now, but once again I'll just pause the video and then come back once it's installed. Right, so as you, as you can see, we've now finished installing and updating Xcode, so we can start using it just by pressing this button down here. Right. So this is brilliant, we now have Xcode set up and ready to work. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's a, it's a really impressive thing to do that you can install Xcode and install uh, Mac applications using VirtualBox on a Windows computer. So um, once again I hope you enjoyed this, if you could leave it a like if this worked for you or if you need any help just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.